All right, we are still talking about lots of hot in this forecast and for the next couple of days. Radar picture is clear. It's been that way pretty much the entire month of September so far. A lot of things we need to start happening. But right now, I think it's going to be a continuation of what's been happening. Futurecast has nothing for us. Maybe a few clouds and a few lucky spots today. An isolated sprinkle or two out to the west or way off to the north is possible. But this ridge of higher pressure, still the dominant weather influence, and is going to be for another day or two until it finally starts to break down. And once that happens, now we can start to change things up. But we're talking like Wednesday before that starts. So for today, a continuation of where we were over the weekend, and that means more hot except without that little benefit of the cooler morning that we had, especially on Saturday. It's 73 right now in Tallahassee. We're at 74 in Valdosta. We're at 75 in Thomasville. Warm outside. Not going to call it super humid yet, but I think that will slowly start to creep back a little bit later this week, too, as that ridge breaks down, that drier air starts to move away. It's 79 right now in Mariana, the warm spot. 72s for Live Oak and for Cross City, the cool spots. So warmer north and west, cooler south and east. But pretty much everybody someplace in those middle 70s with a couple in the upper 70s. Got a trio of 77s for Blakely, for Bainbridge, and for Camilla. Now I see a little bit of patchy fog around Perry right now. Visibility is less than a mile, but that's about the only spot. Showers south of Louisiana trying to lift north. Even a couple of sprinkles over the Gulf out into the extreme panhandle. I doubt we're going to find any showers around here today, not with this ridge in place and with this drier air in place. It's just going to promote more of that heat, and I think that's what we're looking at for another couple of days. But eventually that ridge breaks down and we start to change things up a little bit, a different wind direction, more from the east, and we start to bring in at least some chances for some showers. Now, the tropics are still active, just much quieter in the United States. Out here across the northern Atlantic, that is Tropical Storm Gabrielle. Winds at 60 miles per hour going to stay over those open waters, maybe in a couple of days, be someplace up near Ireland as a remnant low, but really no major threats with this one. Two other pieces of energy in the central Atlantic. We'll watch and we'll see what can happen with them, but neither one looks to be in a real hurry to develop if they're ever going to develop. Winds on the Gulf close to home today, southeast and light, 5 to 12 seas, 2 feet or less. So pretty good day for the boaters out there. We are finishing up the low tides a little before 730 this morning. 70s and 80s, we'll call it mostly sunny. Sun comes up at 718. Going to get real hot real fast today. Most of us up over 90 by noontime and staying in those middle and upper 90s for several hours this afternoon. Mid 70s tonight, mostly clear, definitely staying on the warm side. We're supposed to be back near 70 in the morning and highs are supposed to be near 90 in the afternoon. Look at those daytime highs. Come on, fall, help us out a little bit. I think most of this week still really, really hot.